Well, <laughs> we have found some evidence. At least we're hoping it's evidence. So we got some hair down here. Check it out. Check it out. We got some hair. Look, there's some right here. Oh, yeah, right there. Look. There's some. There's a big wad of it right there. What do you like think? Like it got caught on this limb. What is that? Where's the other hair? Right here. Well, check it. That's the silver one. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's what it is. I'm. I'm here. Here's some more. Look, look, look. Here's some more. Look. Oh, here's some more over here too. Yeah. Wow. We've been passing it up. I didn't even see it. Here's a lot more. That's fresh. It's not too old, is it? That's fur. Like hair. Uh, I've got a bag on the four-wheeler. Wow. i got a napkin. We'll wrap it up in the napkin. Okay? Wow. Let's get that analyzed. You know what? Yeah. You think... Them bad little ants are... Mm. Yeah, we call them cow killers. Yeah, down there in Louisiana, they're called cow killers. That little rascal there lights you up. <laughs> He's like... I guess they're called a ground wasp, but... They're bad to the bone. And he's leading us right to him. Good job. I won't... Look at here. We got some hair right on top of it. Oh look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Good it's job, there. cow killer. There it is. He was squatching. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? What's going on? Oh, uh, I got, we got lost, Josh. You lost all right. <laughs> I don't even know where we're at right now. I, I crossed Copperhead Road about. It's a dang about, good thing I know who you are, too. Do you know who that is? Yeah, I think it's Josh and Moonshiner, I think. Josh, is that you, Moonshiner? Moonshiner, Josh? You got me. You, you know who I am? Yo, I know exactly who you are. Turtle Man. Turtle Man. Is you, it all good? I don't we all good? Well, Kinda. <laughs> if it wasn't you, you wouldn't be good. I hear you. I want to be on the good side. I've, I've never had anybody except my kids playing around these woods. And really? Like turtle man. Are you looking for turtles? I got a pond right down yonder, but I, I ain't never had nobody come looking for turtles before. Well, we was actually looking for a Bigfoot, and we kind of tracked him this way, and we got lost. Kind of drugs y'all <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. I knew it. Should I be scared? Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah. Come on up. Yeah. Is it good? Is no, it come good? On up. I think he's all right. We know each other. It's been a while since we met each other, but we're cool, ain't we? We've been cool. Come all on. All right. We're good. Okay. We're good, hon. I got to be careful with my turtle gal here because she's always nervous. We're all right. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> What's your name? Suzanne. Hey, Miss Suzanne. <laughs> what? What are y'all doing? I don't understand. <laughs> I can't get what up What the heck y'all up to? Hi. What are y'all up to? Whew. We're hunting a Bigfoot. Bigfoot? A family of four, maybe five. Yeah, I'm no, serious. I am serious. I want to slag off on the Bigfoot. Didn't I know. I'm not my, met my you before. My brother believes in Bigfoot, but I don't. My brother Jeremy, he loves Bigfoot, but I ain't never seen one, never believed in it. I don't know. Well, it is true. What are y'all really doing? I mean... Something ate the cherries or knocked it down. Yeah, something got the cherries up here too. Oh, they did? Yeah, it's one left. Let me pull up. I got it. I'm trying not to leave a scent so I'm not staying long and I didn't want to get out. 
Okay, the Fritos are knocked over. Can you drive over there to the Red Cup? Mm -hmm. Nothing has gone off that tree. Yeah, but I ain't pulled through there. Uh, the flash could have uh, scared them off one of the deer cams. Okay, they're not eating though, so. Uh, Could have been a bird or something flew down and knocked it over. Well, they, they're they still there. Okay, let the me see. still up there. Okay, so right here where the cookies are. Still up there. Yeah, the cherries fell down, so the cherries are. That's what set off that click. Down there, maybe that, so. That apple sent the second click. Yeah, and we do think that this is a, a new footprint. Can you point it out? Yeah. It looks like there's one here too. Looks like now. Yeah. It's awful smashy. I mean, I mean, all of this was ruffled up yesterday because it was all fluffy. Yeah. Now it looks like it's smashed down. Right here too. Okay. So there there was an apple in the middle of the path and it could have rolled down so we picked it back up and put it Either that it ain't working. But something ate the cherries. Something did eat the cherries. They're gone. Three we were seven of them up there. Seven cherries. Okay. I mean the juice is still pouring out. See look, it's on the leaves. See it? Yeah, I see it. You don't have to pick it up, but I mean, it's still. Do you do you think that they heard us coming? It's yeah, evening. I would have picked them up. No, if he heard us coming, he ran. He'd be knocking. I think it was last night. Whatever that reason it come off. But this is pretty. Well, they good. ate these. They ate these. Whatever it did. And they were red. But it could have been a bird. That's the reason we didn't pick it up. Well, all right. They didn't drink the water. No, what's going on? But how did a cherry get way over here, honey? Look, check this out now. Okay. Yeah, I see it. How did three cherries get there in the line like that? Why ain't they scattered? Look at this. Uh huh. How'd that happen? And there's one right here. Mm hmm. And then here. Well, maybe, um,. Maybe even this morning they heard the knocks and the screaming and they dropped it and ran. Uh-oh, mommy's calling me or something. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, how would them get over here? That just don't even make sense. Looks like it picked the jar up again. Looks like it fell here once. Right in here, because this can't go way over here. And they picked it up, was eating it, and dropped it again. Like two drops. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Huh? See, see, juice went that way. How come it ain't over this way? It looks like it failed. These are stepped on. That stepped on? Yeah. That's squished, and this one is squished. It is squished. Look at that. That is a fact. Look. Okay. Do you see a toe print? This, all this grass is smushed. I thought it was where we walked, but we didn't step on none of oh, them. No, there, there's cherries there. right here. There's cherries right there. That one stepped on. This one's really squished. That one's squished. That one's squished. Something was standing there. I don't know why, but some squashed them cherries. Still looking for more clues where they're, they got to get getting water. And I know a big spring down here by the swamp and it might be fresh water, you know. Like a footprint, old footprint to me. I agree. He, this is a big one. That looks like the mother, and the one I just videoed looks like the teenager. Uh huh. Something been going down through here, though. Look. 
See where it bunched up the hole? Yeah. It was near that log. It was near the log. Behind, okay, it was in back of this log. Well, we know they've been here because we see the footprints. Right here. Yeah, I see it. And we're crunched up here, too. Look at this. So maybe he was here just now. They are really good at... Yeah. I can go see. And it run off down through there because that's where it jumped from here to there. Look, where yeah. it hit the leaves over. See it? Yeah, I do. Let yeah. me get this over here where he was standing. Yeah, get that where he was Look, standing. There, there's stand. a footprint right here. He was here just now. We actually saw he, look, him. Right there is where he was. I know. We were just here. He was right here. That's where he hunkered down. He leaped right over here. Man, he can leap good. Uh, we weren't... I saw him for it. I don't know. We were talking. There's a trail there. There's a trail there. There's a trail here. Yeah, he went this way. Something had broken this tree. I just want to get this off of here. This is the eye. There's footprints everywhere. Look, there's. There's a footprint. Yep. He was here, and I saw him. You saw him. But I yet he he me. looked like a shadow. I That's it. That. Just a shadow. It was a teenager. He went down through there. And hey, look, look at these leaves. What's all them broke up for? Where? Look okay. At the leaves. Yeah, fresh. That's tough limbs. He was here just now, and we didn't even hear him. He is so quiet. Oh, look at yeah, that is odd. Look at all these look fresh all these leaves. Branches. It's only tree here. Look, I mean, it's black oak, but look, you can't. They're it's everywhere. Hard to break, and they've been broken off. That is look. odd. You can't break it. It has okay. to be pulled down. All of the grass or leaves, there's look, no grass. Whatever it is, it broke it off from up there. Look. Look at that limb broke off. Whatever it was, it was a tall one. The big one. See them limbs broke off right there? Uh -huh. This thing could reach that high. That's about nine foot up there. Look at the limbs. It broke off all around the tree right up there. So it's breaking limbs off for some reason. They must be feeding the baby. Or maybe they're building a nest and we disturbed them. Yeah. Could he be shaking that tree? Like shaking it? Knocking the acorns off or something? Because there's a lot of acorns. Well, that's, that's, an, that's an interesting theory to shake acorns off to eat. Here's the acorns right here. A lot of them are crunched up. Okay. Like broken up. Eight. Could be a squirrel eating it. That's why the squirrel was here, but I don't know. So many. I've never seen that before, and I hunt all the time. Okay. There's been a lot of activity here, too. A lot of animals have been here as well. That's something that's going to be there. Lots of animals have been around here, too. I can't believe I saw him, but just as a shadow. I'm just listening for some knocks again, in case we jumped one. They will knock. I saw something move behind my back. If the silver one ducked, it would be a little easier to see her. But the darker ones look like a shadow out mm -hmm. in the woods. A log or old tree tree trunk perfect camo
so far away. What are you doing? I thought we were. Well, I found this uh, old, old uh, telephone line thing here, an uh, insulator. <laughs> okay. And it was in the ground so deep I can't get it out. I wouldn't even know what that is. <sighs> it looks like a bowl. Well, it ain't. It, this is a old telephone insulator or some type of insulator for electricity. This is a really good specimen. There's no breaks in it or nothing. It's ceramic. They don't make these no more. Very, very old. Very nice. No chips on it. Wow. Worth collecting, too. Wow. That's a good one. A brown insulator. Well, glad you're excited. I'm excited. This is a really old. This is really old. Okay. Probably used back in the 1900s. He can eyeball anything a thousand miles away. Yeah. Now this is this is a collector item here. I don't know the price on it yet, so I got to get it uh, a price on it. I, I don't know my prices on these things, so I'm I'm happy with it. <laughs> okay. Moving forward. Goodbye. <laughs> Virginia to the T-Rex Center and we're gonna see my old buddy Ray and he's a paleontologist. I bet y'all didn't think I remember that word. I call him an archaeologist really because he finds dinosaur bones. But I guess he's a paleontologist. That's what he said he was so I have to go with that. So and I'm taking in I'm taking in these here uh, Bigfoot tracks. Whew, I don't know what he's gonna think about those. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. <laughs> Cause I don't think he believes I have one. So when this here's gonna even be more exciting. Woo! I'm excited myself. I'm driving really careful too, cause I don't want them to jar and break. Cause that that plaster back here that I got them in, it's not very strong. So I hope he got. He said he's got some better stuff to make it with. So we're gonna see what he can do with it. Yep. What about a turtle? I think yeah. it's exciting. I can't wait. Always an adventure to see Ray. Always an adventure with Turtle Man, too. Oh, definitely. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> That's an understatement, honey. <laughs> wild right down there in West Virginia. Whew, they got some creatures down here. We have to look up a moss man <laughs> down at Point Pleasant. Man, man, I'm telling you, man, that moss man is a critter, buddy. He's almost famous as Bigfoot. Did you think we ought to go turtle gown? Think we ought to just go and look for the moss man too while we're down here? Uh, maybe <laughs> when we come back to get the tracks. <laughs> Okay. I gotta do a little research or something. I don't know. All right. Well, a moth man is a. I never heard of the moth man. Man, he's he's crazy now. I'm telling you. Yeah. He's uh, the same down there. He's got big glowing eyes, and big wings, and he looks like a moth. Only his human size. Only bigger. Maybe just a little taller. Almost big as Bigfoot. Well, that kind of sounds quite a, as big. Little ridiculous to me, but I've always known about they Bigfoot. They believe in it now. We're gonna get us. They got a statue made of him. Maybe that'll be our next episode. I mean, not episode, but series. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me. <laughs> it's a river. We're 
we're driving up to the back entrance here. I gotta be careful, it's kind of bumpy, so. All right, let's hope he's here. Okay, here, let's see if he comes out. If I blow the, blow the horn here. Turtle man, knock. Did you try opening it? That big turtle man! Yay! Hey there, turtle man! Okay, great, 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 great to see you! Great to see you, yeah! <laughs> man, Come you're on. the guy we're looking for! Well, I'm here. I'm ready to go and see what you brought. Oh, well, yeah. See what your latest adventures have been. Yeah, we got you a good good thing to fix and a good thing to look at. And We like fixing stuff. Woohoo! Get yeah. some live action here. We That's got a right. Bigfoot track for you, Ray, man. Okay, yeah. These are right, right out of the, right out of the, uh, out of the forest, huh? Right out of the forest. All right, well, let's have a look at it. I didn't know it. where else to take it to but you. Let's have a look at it. Well, that's great. Yeah, we're certainly good at fixing broken fossils and broken things and making molds and casts of them. And uh, so you can have some, so that you can actually carry around with you at that point in time. That's awesome. So with them, yeah. So well, they're kind of heavy now. They're hard to pack. So. Well, we'll just uh, see where they're at. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah. That's a little one. I thought we had the... I thought this one was the mama, but I was wrong. You was wrong? This is the teenager. It's a teenager. That's what we named it. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. 30, 30 big feet and big toes. Yeah. Right. But this one is a lot better one here. Let's so. take it in on the end of the table so we can uh, okay. open the box up and look at it a little better. All right. All righty, Ray. This is the big guy here. Okay. Okay. This is the it. mama. Check this okay. out. Right All right. Now, you think that other one was big, but check wow. this one out. Look at, the, look at the size of that. I told you. Let me get my glasses on to look at that. You're going to have to look at that one. This is what I found in the getaway holler down in the creek. This is in the creek print. That one was on a dry bed. Yeah. Like a old logging road. But this one was down in the creek. And this is what it looked like. You can imagine in a thing of mud. Well, that's enormous. It's even got the leaf on it. Where yeah, it, you see, see the leaves on it. A couple yeah. of sticks. Still, it's uh, still still stuck to it. Yeah, you didn't even see the what's these things ridges in the bones and the toe bones. Maybe? Yeah, it's got all the where you step down. Yeah, because of course it made the foot be covered with fur. Maybe I don't really know if there's pads on the on the bottom of the feet. I don't of, know. I've of, never of big foot or not. I don't know either. So this that's is what, just, that's just enormous. Yeah, this is on the bottom. You know, like the plaster is on this side yeah right and then this side here would be what you would get whatever it is yeah. so. it, it sounds like it's, it, it's actually the reverse of a yeah. actual imprint you know for it on it and so all the brown is actually the dirt that's stuck to the plaster exactly. when you when you did the pour mm -hmm. and that's just common but you'll always you always get that kind of thing mm -hmm. now when we mold this okay a lot of this dirt and stuff will come off and stick to the mold yeah which will be okay it'll have okay. to kind of clean it up some you know for yeah it on. okay but uh we could even the we could even leave things like the sticks on there. It that would come up in the come up in the impression in the mold also. Right. If you want to, okay. leave, if you want to leave things like that on there, mm -hmm. you know, to see it. Okay. I think probably one of the things we'll probably do is also we'll probably when we take this out, we'll set it on a board, maybe two inches thick, to keep it protected. And then when we pour the rubber over it, we'll let it come down to sides. That way, the track itself it'll be like two inches thick. Wow. And make, make it make the the replica really solid. Okay. Go with that on. Texas all on, so yeah. All right. Yeah, so it'll help to actually. It'll it'll be uh, then but it'll be cast in fiberglass, so fiberglass and resin. So it'll be it'll be really strong at that point, and you get yeah. the original back to put with your co collection with the rest of your collections. But that's great. You know, okay. Let's take a look at this other one. All right. Let's take a look at the other one. Okay. Yeah. I forgot all about the other one. I'm so interested in the big one. <laughs> This one we thought was the Bible according on size it is. I mean, it's big too, but. Is, is this the one that you uh, sent me pictures of? Yes. Okay. Can you see the different sizes in them? <laughs> yeah, well, there's, huh? there's quite a difference. <laughs> di what a difference in size for them exactly. Let me pour them. So, cool. I mean, you can tell that's two different sets of footprints. Is this, is this the first one you poured? This is the first, first one. Yeah, yeah. Well, it did perfect. So, so it's nice and solid? Yeah, it's supposed it's to be. Solid. Yeah, it's supposed to be solid. Yeah. Yeah. Again, we'll do the same thing with this one. We'll make the whole thing thicker. It'll help, you know, that'll help protect it, protect it overall. Because if we just pour the plaster down over the edges, it's only about a half inch thick. And we want it to be thicker than that. So like I say, we'll put it, put it on the board and let the, and let the, uh, uh, the mold rubber run over top of it 
make the whole thing thicker. I mean, you can see how where the curves would go around the ankles and stuff, where the curves are. I you remember can even see the outline. I remember one of the pictures that Suzanne sent me. The impression mm -hmm. actually in the in the ground. Yeah. Really, really could see that toaster. You can see it. Well, the other other tracks I've seen are other casts that I've bought from other people. So okay. these are the first you know, this first generation. These are the first generation ones, of course, I've ever, ever I've, that I've ever seen. Really? So it's great to see these first generations. It'll pick up every detail. I mean, wow. this, this leaf. Yeah. It would actually show up in the cast. Really? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I guess you want that in there. Well, I don't know. Well, you, yeah. Because well, you get so much detail when you uh, when you I mean, when you do that kind of those kind of rubbers. The one I like where he stepped on this leaf. Yep. I mean you can't. That and the, tw the twig goes kind of under it, there too. Yeah. I mean it actually bent over the twig where his toe would have been. Mm -hmm. It kind of folded over when he was walking. You can actually see that in the print. You know. Yeah. You can see where it's kind of messed off and got on a leaf too. That's what I like about it. Yeah. Yeah. But the important thing will be to have those molds. The important thing will be then to have the original, so that you can study it later, study it later on from the original okay. to, go, to go with it along with all the photographs mm -hmm. that you have the, of the various tracks. And uh, it sounds like this area is an area where you found a bunch of them. Well, there's been a bunch. Yeah. Or, yeah. So uh, yeah, um, does this area have anything about the like rock shelters in it? Or it's got a any, few. Any ideas yeah. of where you know? Something this big, where's it going to live? You know, where's it going to? Well, we've we, been hunting for that. We went hunting yeah. for it, but we haven't found where they've been actually yeah. nesting. I guess you'd call yeah. it nesting. Yeah, we you call it nesting. So <laughs> we haven't found that spot yet, but we know they're close. We're going back a bunch there. Actually, with the leaf change and the leaves falling, it'll be interesting to see what you see on some subsequent twi trips. Not only of you know, more track you set on, but you might be get a visual more when, when the leaves are gone. Great. Yeah. This is fantastic. I'm sure glad you thought of me to, oh. to bring these by for the molding and casting on them. We also yeah. brought some fossils that we just wanted to show okay, you. That yeah. we, I remember uh, those uh, ammonites that you showed yeah. me. They, they were pictures. awesome and we always yeah, find in a, pairs. That's, that's amazing to find, to find those too. With that. Yeah. I've only found one, two ammonites in my whole life, but this here make uh, my third ammonite I've ever found. But I found trilobites too. That's yeah, in Kentucky. Right. I found trilobites yeah, in Kentucky. Place for them. Uh, I've, all the collect. I've, well, I found some ammonites mostly out, mostly in Montana and Montana. South Dakota. Okay. That's where I found them. Uh, actually, right. a lot younger than the ones, the, mm -hmm. the rocks that you found. Right. You okay. So, but they're they're a neat fossil. They're, they're, oh, they're, they're neat. A very neat animal to go with a button. But this is this is. Yeah. But of course, this is also quite unique too. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> there's a lot more ammonites found than there are things like this. Yes, sir. He said that right. These footprints are hard to find, believe me. Yeah. And uh, tell us about what you do and uh, about yeah, your museum. Well, I'm, I'm the curator of the museum here. It's called the T-Rex Science Center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have 30, 26,000 square foot exhibits of dinosaur skeletons of dinosaurs right. in the flesh and other hundreds of other kinds of fossils, real fossils, dinosaur fossils. Wow. And uh, so we have this museum here for the puppet to, puppet to come in and see. Okay. I'm also the curator of another museum for the state up in Morgantown, West Virginia. Okay. And geology and paleontology, that's, I'm, I'm both. That's, I'm paleontologist wow. and, and, and a geologist. Been molding and casting things for decades. That's awesome. So that's, part of the, that's part of what we do. Because we know, particularly fossils, we cast and mold a lot of fossils because Sometimes they're unique. It's the only one. Right. And so, for other people to study it, you have to make that mold and that cast so you can pass it around for other people to study also. Right. And, with it. and, and if something would happen, uh, like if these get destroyed somehow, if we have the molds and the cast, at least you have something. That's, that's living fossils. Now, tell them about the living fossils. Well, there's a number of living fossils. That's, that what it means is that things that we thought were extinct, okay. animals we thought were extinct, like a coelacanth, which is like a, a, a we found fossils of coelacanths as a fish, and but then in the 1940s they actually found living coelacanths over in the, uh, Indonesia, and they're up to five and six feet long. Jeez. Uh, other, other living fossils are things like called a metasequoia. Metasequoia is a tree. It's okay. actually the kind of and ginkgos. They're the kinds of foliage that dinosaurs actually ate. Really? We find those trees, needles pine cones and leaves as fossils also. Wow. There's some of them still living still yet living yet today. That's Great. Where, that's where we get into the, the, living, the living fossils. Even the ginkgo tree? Even the ginkgo tree, yeah. Wow. You know, in fact, the ginkgos, we find 
The leaves look just like the leaves do today. Okay. The seeds, we find the seed pods with ginkgos. Right. Mm -hmm. They're all fossilized, but they're tens of millions of years old. Wow. How about uh, crinoids? Are they still living? Or? Yes, there are. I mean, there, they are? there are okay. probably 20,000 different species of fossil crinoids. Okay. And they're not all extinct. There are a few living, maybe five, 600 different species that still live today in the semi-shallow semi oceans at maybe 600 feet deep. Okay. And you can see so you can still go diving and actually see some living okay. crinoids yesterday. Y'all hear that, friends? You learned something around us. Yeah, when, when we were collecting dinosaurs, like uh -huh. that Triceratops, skull over there uh -huh. in South Dakota. Right. We actually mixed up two tons of plaster. Oh my gosh. That'd be in hard. a wash basin smaller than this. Uh-huh. A little batch at a time in order to collect that skull. Wow. That's crazy. So yeah, so it takes a lot of plaster, oh, a lot of does. water. Yeah. And obviously a lot of work. You know I mean? Oh you'd have to stay on it. And we were there for three weeks. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Really? Wow. Three like weeks? That. Yeah. Whew. Yeah for three weeks. So that's that's nutty. Hi, Mary Ellen. Hi. <laughs> My gosh. I told you. I think this is the mama and that's the teenager. Wow. How awesome. Yeah, I was I was stunned. <laughs> I'm thinking. I think this is bigger. <laughs> My goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, Mary Ellen, I got you some uh, fossils here. And, and it's wow. Yeah, we've been getting them out of our woods where we've been going finding these things out there. Woohoo! Wow. Yeah, so I didn't know get to use them or not. Oh, absolutely. The kids will love these. Wow, look at that. Oh, these being limestone, most of the limestones in your parts of Kentucky are yeah. called Mississippian age. Okay. And that puts them at 300 million to 350 million years or so. That's older than a dinosaur. It's older than a dinosaur, yeah. Woohoo! Lots of nice brachiopods in there. Oh, yeah. Let's pull it, pour these out. Yeah, we've got home coral. Very nice. That's a new one that we found. That's, those are super. Oh, There's what we found. Wow. Hey, this is what you sent me pictures of. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we haven't even gosh. cleaned it. We found two of those. We found two of those. We thought you could analyze same, it. Same the same area? Right on direct cliffs, man. Mm -hmm. Same place as these? Yeah. Wow. And we found some trilobites, but I left them at the house. I didn't get to bring them. It'd be really, really nice when we get to, when you wash this off, get the mud off of it. Yeah. There'll be a lot, probably a lot, of, a lot of other details in there. Okay. Help, well, we thought us, you could do that. Help us get around to identify the species of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they got species. Yeah, lots of species of it. Really? This is this is a nice big find. Now that's Kentucky style there. Yeah. I mean, they call <laughs> yeah. they, they call these an ammonite or a nautiloid, a coiled nautiloid, that's coiled up like a snail. Okay. But the difference in snails, which are gastropods. Okay. Snails, the animal lived in it, its body goes all the way to the end of the shell inside. These, gotcha. the animal just lived here in its outer chamber. Okay. And it had tentacles. All right. Like, a, like, like an octopus. Okay. And these are more closely related to a chambered, chambered nautilus that is, that is still alive today. Again, a living fossil that we were talking about earlier. Still living today. Still living today. Like a squid. Not, not many of them, but there's still, there's still some today. This will okay. be a real wow. neat thing to get washed and cleaned off. Nice and solid too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Great find. I mean, I've never ones I found been in Montana. Okay. And a, a totally different species because they're dinosaur age. Okay. They were only about 65 million years old. Okay. Yeah. Right. These are a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot older. older than that. Sometimes these are just what we call the mold. I mean, this is originally original. Original was alive. It's probably covered with mother of pearl. Okay. It was very, very polished and probably wow. another pearl like like a like a modern day oyster right or a modern day seashell okay like that outer coating of the uh, mother pearl we call it. okay so yeah. it's probably covered wow. covered all that also yeah and that, and, and that no. all it all broke off and what you know and, and, yeah. and washed, washed away. away so we have the internal structure okay it. but that's what you find most of the time there's a few places you find it, the outer the outer part of it and find that that mother pearl coating so we're, we're going to put it in this screen that we use for our mine sluice. So if anything, anything important falls off, it tends to be in the screen there. Okay. So we'll set it in the screen right. and set it down in the water. Okay. Start to wash it back and forth. It'll, it'll start to break right. some of the... Some of the no, this, this is going to be really great. It's kind of rough on that side, though. I think yeah. where it's already peeling. Look in there. See, all that mud has actually been, been protecting it in there. So let me dump that water out of it. Okay. A little bit on. Okay. Yeah, you can see where it's been wearing right here. Yeah. 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 
Okay. Let's uh, just up. give it a little bit, of, a little bit of compression. You want to do it? No, I'll have it both. <laughs> All the fine details in that. Yeah. I would say that's calcium. Or what they call that calcite? Uh, calcite. Uh -huh. Yeah. Calcite is one of the main cements in sandstone and other, other kinds of rocks. Okay. Put the calcite on them. See the backside where it was laid on the bottom probably when it died. Yeah. You know, didn't 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 preserve near as well. Of it has a lot of the rock and shell rock still attached to it. Uh-huh. But this side over here is really well, really, really pretty. It probably traveled like this. In light uh -huh. in the ocean like this. Okay. And the the, the, the squid like animal here and they move back and forth in the water. They get the get it broken down. They got like glittery stuff. You know, like that's, that's all calcite probably, all the glittery parts. Okay. Good. Yeah. Wow, it really does sparkle a lot. When it dries yeah, up, it'll yeah, really be. When it dries, you get into bright yeah. light. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. That might be one of my prized yeah. fossils. So this grew on it, or it just crystallized into it? Crystallized on it. I mean, oh, okay. a lot of this matrix, this brown stuff here, I'll call matrix. Okay. Now, that could be chiseled off mechanically, okay. and you'd have more of the animal. Probably this side would look like this side oh, I got if you. we could remove yeah. that stuff. That's a calcite stuff. That's it. That's it. That's calcite, particularly this the bright shiny part over here. Okay. It doesn't quite show up on camera, but the crystals are going to be really pretty when it dries. Yeah, another bigger one, similar to yours. Okay. Again, covered in all the sutures. All right. Again, from the country of, of, Mad of Madagascar. And it's Kentucky. That's Kentucky, long ways apart. <laughs> now, this one they actually turned into a, like a bowl or, or a, a, a change bowl. Look how they hollowed it out oh my God. inside. Check it out. Look at, look at the crystals inside the chambers. It's like, wow. like on the back side of yours, it has some crystals. Okay. This has other crystals inside of it too. Okay. Oh, wow. Ray, it's been an honor, buddy. Woohoo! Well, a pleasure to meet see you again. Oh, yeah. And love looking at your fossils and your discoveries. And bring them by anytime. Send me pictures of them. Love them. Love to see him help you out. I sure will, and uh, just let me know when we get that done. We'll make another trip back down here, and we'll get the get the original, awesome. original get the original back to you. It's just coffee, coffee. Okay. Yeah. He got recognized in the store. Well, I had to take care of some fans there and they kind of liked me there. I had to take pictures. <laughs> uh, had my mask on too. Thanks for going in. Yeah, we got we gotta eat some pizza and we got hungry. You gotta eat every now and then, you know. My ribs are starting to tell my belly said we're gonna eat something. <laughs> That's a turtle out for now, and uh, if you ever meet one of these things, try to get a picture of it, but don't try to fight it. I think it could stomp you. <laughs> it could beat you by a foot. <laughs> <laughs>